Today, Walmart and Sam's Club started offering coronavirus vaccines in 18 stores across Jacksonville. And as News for Jacks reporter Kelly Wiley explains, public transportation is changing quickly to make sure everyone can get to their appointments. Today, Walmart is the latest in a line of government and private businesses to open COVID-19 vaccine clinics in Jacksonville. This Walmart on Lim Turner Road is the closest grocery to Jacqueline William. She got her vaccine last week at a two-day pop-up vaccine clinic on the north side. It was the first time since vaccines became available in December that a public clinic was located in her north side neighborhood. And there was nothing on the north side. Nothing, not anything. Walmart locations in Florida are receiving the Moderna vaccines through the Federal Retail Pharmacy Program Partnership. This week, as Governor Ron DeSantis announced the shipment coming to Walmart stores by Friday, he also announced the state's plans to send more vaccines to public stores. In Jacksonville, the state vaccination clinic at Regency Square Mall is still the primary public location offering first doses of the vaccine in Duval. It's vaccinated more than 25,000 people since January. For Williams, that site is still out of reach for seniors in her community without transportation. You have people who are 65 years and older on the north side who don't even have transportation to go to any other side of town. It's why the Jacksonville Transportation Authority has since January 27th been offering free rides to the site for those 65 and up and healthcare workers and adjusting routes to make an additional stop in front of the vaccination site. JTA data shows 211 people have used the route to get to the state vaccination site and 20 used JTA services to get to the pop-up site on the north side last weekend. In a statement, the Jacksonville Transportation Authority said the JTA is continuing to work with city and state partners to develop new options to ensure transportation is not a barrier to access a vaccine site. They continued, we're evaluating ways to expand to cover the new retail vaccination sites. And in that press conference that Governor DeSantis came to Jacksonville this week, he did not give a definite date for when he would move on to, from the seniors first priority group. So Duval has a big challenge, uh, bigger one than other counties in our area. So far, it's vaccinated over 61,000 people over 65, and that could be people who live anywhere in Florida counted in that number. But data shows 42% uh, of seniors who actually live in Duval County have been vaccinated. It's higher than in many counties in Florida, but take St. John's County, for instance, it has vaccinated more than 14,000 people who are over 65, but 55% of its seniors are vaccinated. Uh, if you are someone who needs a ride to a vaccination site, JTA has provided us with a link that should help you. It's on the bottom of your screen right now. It's health.jta.fla.com. Reporting live in Jacksonville, Kelly Wiley, Channel 4, The Local Station.